There are great functions and features in the Bernina 570 sewing machine that you utilize with decorative stitches. Hi, I'm Sarah from SewingMastery.com and we are going through all the different functions and features in short videos that you can reference in so you can learn this machine inside and out. So pattern end and pattern begin two things I actually use quite a bit. Now in our Bernina Stitching Cosmos online course, I do find myself needing to start a decorative stitch and then end it when I need to get to the end. And then sometimes I'm not where the end actually is, so I'm like halfway through. So when I start it again, I need to be back at the beginning of the stitch. Nobody wants half a stitch left over um, and you always wanna kinda of end it when you can. You can't always, but for here, a lot of times when we ended it, we ended it out here and then these blocks were actually trimmed to size. We do so many different decorative techniques um, into using rufflers and circular sewing attachments. Who would have thought sewing decorative stitches and circles could look so fun. So this course is something that you can check out. We have links below. We even have 10 videos that you can watch for free. So what are we talking about with pattern begin and pattern end? So pattern end is going to be this button right here. It looks like a little triangle with lines at the bottom, meaning end. Now this is actually programmable, meaning you can set it up in the settings for the way you sew. So if I go into the straight and zigzag and go into where my hand touches buttons, that's how I remember where to go, look for that same symbol, here it is, and then we can actually set it to, for example, lock, cut, and lift the foot. We could have it just lock, so we could actually turn everything off and just have it lock. We could have it lock in a little cluster, we could have it lock in a little kind of small amount of stitches going forward in a line and choose even three, four, five, or six stitches. I like the little cluster. I like it to cut the thread and I like it to lift the foot up when I'm done. So that's how it's actually usually set up for my own personal sewing. Next, you don't actually see pattern end show up. It will show up right here until you actually start stitching. So let's go into the decorative stitches. Let's go into the 400s and for easy viewing, let's go ahead and pick a heart. So I'm gonna start stitching through a heart and then I'm gonna stop halfway. And by stopping halfway, if I take it out, take the fabric out, move to another place, I'm gonna be still in the middle of the heart when I stitch again. So that's where that pattern begin is gonna come in. And I'm gonna show you how to use and when to use the pattern end. We talk about the importance of sewing out a stitch book. And if you wanna learn how to make the ultimate stitch book, make sure you check the links below this YouTube video in the description where you can watch me show you exactly the easiest way to stitch out all your decorative stitches. And trust me, it really gets you comfortable with your machine, especially if this is a new machine for you and you get to exp explore all those great, great stitches. So here's how I do it. I can step on my foot control or I'll use the start stop button because I can, because that's just easiest. And then you can just sit back and enjoy watching that stitch stitch out. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop it real quick. And this is the pattern begin. So see that kind of floating bubble? So that would be, it's like if I got halfway through a stitch, so let me go ahead, I'm gonna just stitch a little bit more. Here we go, half of a heart. Let's say I stop, maybe even I break a thread or I'm not, have, I don't have the right tension going. So I've got half of this. And you can even see by this little dot on screen, this is where the needle is within the stitch. So if I was to start again somewhere else, I would start right at that point. But let's say I need to go back to the beginning, touch that pattern begin, and you see that that dot brings us back to the beginning of the stitching. So if I was to start again, which I will, and I'm gonna just use my foot control just so I can show you how it all looks. And let's just say we're getting towards the end of the fabric, then while I'm sewing, I'm gonna reach up and touch the pattern end. So it will finish the pattern I'm on, and then lock, here comes the cut, and then the foot lift. And that is how you get your stitches to come out perfectly at the end of the row. So let me show you one more trick. So how long is that decorative stitch? How do you know when you're gonna run out of real estate before you get to the edge of the fabric? Well, right here on screen, it says 20 point five millimeters. That's how long one repeat is. So for example, if I just pick this stitch next to it, it says it's 17 
millimeters long. This one is 12, so it's a much smaller repeat. So if you're ever wondering how long a stitch actually is going to stitch, that is going to be your indication. So that's how long you have before pattern end is going to activate. So some stitches will be much longer and, oh, oh, that one's getting long. And some of them are gonna be much more compact. Now, if you do actually make the stitch length longer, now this one spreads it out, So, but I have a, a 44.8 uh, millimeter stitch uh, repeat for that. So that isn't exactly what I'm looking for. So instead of having your stitches all spread out, touch the eye, and let me actually just clear this back. But you can actually make this stitch longer, but keep the density. And that is what you can do with pattern extend. So as you go ahead and increase the length of it, so here the pattern has become 300% longer. Look at the density. It's still nice and filled in. So now we have a much longer stitch all by just increasing how much it's been extended. So not lengthened, but kept the same density. Now you could still come in and actually shorten the, the stitches just a little bit closer together, but that definitely makes it look like the stitch was supposed to look before he started messing with it. So I'm gonna push clear. Definitely give some play time so you understand pattern end and pattern begin. Again, that only shows up once you start stitching and then start stitching out your decorative stitches. Create a stitch book and see how much more comfortable you become with your Bernina 570.